Hey, my name is Stuart Williams, and I'm a current psychology major at the University of South Carolina. Studies have shown that if we change nothing about the current fishing habits that we carry on every day, we will run out of seafood by 2050. For my first speech, I've decided to address the topic of overfishing. According to the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization, approximately 34.2% of fisheries around the world are overfished. So what does it mean if a population is overfished? Well, the FAO states that a stock is overfished if the population is below the level that would maximize its harvest. In this definition, it doesn't really say anything about if the population is increasing or decreasing. According to the FAO, the standard for overfishing is if the population is below 80% of its target biomass. Again, this definition really doesn't encompass the pressure being put on these stocks, which is a big deal because these fisheries can get away with this overfishing without technically reaching the requirements provided by the FAO. Um, so I think one of the bigger reasons that we have so much overfishing going on is that it's pretty difficult to regulate. Another reason people are getting away with this is due to the lack of data in areas that have large amounts of overfishing going on. There's simply many places around the world that don't have the scientific capacity to monitor their fisheries. But as you might guess, areas around the world that do track their fisheries and have the correct data tend to have a lot more sustainable fishing habits. Um, another reason there's so much overfishing going on today is this huge demand of seafood and the rising population. On average, each person eats about 19.2 kilograms of fish per year, which is actually twice as much as 50 years ago. About 30% of the world's fish stocks are overfished. 60% of the world's fish stocks are fully fished, which means they're right at the threshold of being considered overfished. And only 10% are underfished. Illegal and unregulated fishing averages about 11 to 20 million tons of fish per year. In 2013, about 93 million tons of fish were caught worldwide. More than one-third of all sharks and rays are currently at risk of extinction as a direct result of overfishing. And in the past 40 years, there has been a decrease of 39% among all marine life worldwide. So why is this a big deal and why is there a reason to change? Some of you may not eat seafood, some of you may not care. Well, half of the world relies on fish as a major protein source in their diets. So if we lost seafood, millions and millions of people would lose their main source of food. Not only that, but when, you, when the fish disappear, so do jobs and coastal economies. Also, overfishing impacts the entire ecosystem. It can change the size of the remaining fish and how well they're able to like, reproduce and develop. It can cause an imbalance in the uh, food web and that will lead to a loss of other marine life, such as sea turtles and corals. So without going into too much detail about my opinion and what I really think should be done, um, I wanna list a few um, suggestions that have been known to have possible um, effects to help this overfishing. So these include um, sustainable food, seafood sources, um, implementing a catch limit number, protecting certain areas that need time to heal and rebuild, uh, making sure fisheries are monitored and the proper data is being collected, reducing the amount of trawling, informing the consumer about where their seafood is coming from, and fish farming. Um, I hope this provides you with a little context of the state of the global fish market uh, for the next time you consume seafood. And I hope you're able to inf make informed decisions about this. Um, I look forward to diving more into detail about this topic and to the more specifics later on. Thank you.